Now at noon, a significant step forward in the criminal investigation into the Trump organization. As CBS 4's Laura Podesta explains, it's one that could lead to an indictment. A two year investigation into the Trump Organization may be advancing into a new phase. A source confirms to CBS News the Manhattan District Attorney's Office is convening a special grand jury to possibly consider criminal charges against top executives at former President Trump's company. A key target of the investigation is longtime Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg. There is no transaction financially that did not go through Alan Weisselberg. CBS News has learned investigators are looking Looking at the legality of tuition payments Weisselberg made to his grandchildren's New York private school. His former daughter in law says some of the checks were signed by Weisselberg or Donald Trump. Among the issues Manhattan DA Cy Vance is investigating possible hush payments made on behalf of Mr. Trump to silence women who've claimed to have had affairs with him and potential property overvaluations. Possible charges of bank fraud, insurance fraud, tax fraud. This is a problem for Donald Trump if Alan Weisselberg becomes a witness against him. Those real estate accusations are something Mr. Trump's former personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, alleged to Congress two years ago. To your knowledge, did the president or his company ever inflate assets or revenues? Yes. And uh, was that done with the president's knowledge or direction? Everything was done with the knowledge and at the direction of Mr. Trump. In a statement, Mr. Trump called the investigation purely political and driven by highly partisan Democrat prosecutors. Laura Podesta, CBS News. The Washington Post reports that the grand jury will meet three times a week for six months.